Using a barbless hook it is one of the most essential tools you have for catch and release fishing. A barbless hook slides easily out of a fish's mouth. Now handling time, the amount of time that you're fussing around with a fish is one of the most critical parts of catch and release fishing. The less you handle a fish, the less stress on the fish, and the easier it's going to be for that fish to swim away in a healthy manner. So using a barbell hook is going to help. Many flies are already barbless. This is an Orvis tactical nymph hook, and it's already barbless. I don't need to do anything with that. It's going to be fine. However, Many hooks are made with a barb. Most of the flies you see are going to be tied on barbed hooks. But that's not a problem. It's very easy to debarb a hook. So I've got this barbed nymph here, and I've got my handy forceps. Now it helps to have a pair of forceps with smooth jaws in the front. And all you do is you hold that fly to where you can see the barb, and you bring your forceps in and you squeeze down on that barb, maybe move the fly back and forth a little bit, and just squash that barb. It takes two seconds to do, and now you have a barbless hook. So there's nothing to it, and if you don't have barbless flies, as long as you got a pair of forceps, you're gonna be able to make them all barbless.